Hi everyone. So today we are going to go through how to use all the tools under Image Creator. The Image Creator is an AI image generator, and it has a lot of different tools. Some of them are for enthusiasts. Some of them are for professionals. And we will go through each of them and introduce how to use them. So on the first page, you can see there's different tools、uh, shown up here. And for enthusiasts,、um, actually,、uh, there are several important tools. We all know that,、um, like text to image, is one of the most popular tools in the image creator. And what you can do is you can type in the text that you want to create. Let's say a girl near swimming pool. And then you can just select different category and style. It have anime, realistic photo,、um, like illustration, art, character, and 3D design. My personally, I love anime most. And you can choose different style here, and also how many images per batch, and also the resolution. I would prefer to use uh, the starter. Uh, I and also normally I would use six images at once. Also, there's different like aspect ratio you can choose there, and then it will start to generate. It. So all the results will shown on the right side, and you can go through each of them. By、uh, selecting the preview image under it, and also there are a lot of options for you to edit it.、Um, one more step, like you can enhance it, which will improve the quality of the image. You can upscale it to higher resolution, which normally will give better result. And also you can edit it. Let's say we don't like part of the image, and we can erase it out and regenerate it again. So for next one, we're going to introduce is the image input, and for the image input, actually,、um, this one is really powerful. It have different function like default one, copy contour, copy pose, and freeform. So another very interesting tool is copy contour, which will actually reserve the outline edge of your original image. Let's say if I type a girl, right? And what will happen is, okay, let's see, we will make it like 50%. So what will happen is then the AI will actually reserve the outline of this input image. It will be exactly the same of this outline of the boy, but instead it will generate a girl whose outline will look exactly like the boy. So many people use this one to generate、uh, image which is more in control, like it will be in the same pose or wearing the same hat, or it will be the same hairstyle. Let's see, her hairstyle really look like this boy, right? So which is pretty cool, and you can always adjust the image reference strength to make it look more similar. So the last、um, tool for enthusiasts is the AI Studio. Which is pretty cool. So、uh, I will say it's something like Lensa, right? Like you just upload six to twelve your own photo, then it, they will train an AI model, and then the AI model will generate different, you know, the portrait photo for you,、uh, all in different styles. And、uh, my personally, I love the Mid Journey style they have recently, and they also have、uh, the style for like professional, like lawyer, like linking, and also the、uh, the forest or the riverside things like that, and even the art style. And also they have the function for couple photo,、uh, where if you and like、uh, your other. Like the other one, right? Then you can have couple photo, which is also very cool style. So after that, I will introduce all the tools for professionals. So for professionals, actually,、um, they have kind of like、uh, a suite of all the important tools that's needed when you are. Generating content for marketing or social media or e-commerce, like the background AI image variation and magic remover. So 
uh, I will first go to the background AI, which is actually start with uh, image background removal. If I have a product, and what I will do is I will upload it to the background removal. So what it do is it's totally free. There's no login needed. You can just upload it and it will remove the background for you in a few seconds. You can look at the edge, it's pretty clean. So and this one, you can then choose a different background color. It could be solid color. And they even have, you know, like very, very nice tool, which you can adjust different background color, just like as you like. After that, you can simply just download it and it will be full resolution of your Im original image. You can also just make it a transparent background and use it for your Amazon shop. After that, I can choose generate background, which is the magic part for this tool. So normally people will just have a template as a background for it, which actually doesn't look like pretty realistic for most people. So this AI tool actually have the capability to generate realistic background for all the objects, not just for products, but also for human and also for your pet. So we can choose, like you see, all the removed background part in this window. And there's different filters, uh, which are predefined filters for you. You can choose different scenario, like what I choose is popular, the, the style is home, right? You can also choose like studio, there will be uh, sunshine or golden hour or different selections for you. Let's say what I'll choose is I choose um, morning or whatever, I will choose marble instead. So in this way, what you can see is the generated background looks really realistic and it take care of all the lighting and shadow for you, which just look like you do a Photoshop for it. So besides the predefined filter, they also offer the free from and the reference image function. So for free from, actually you can just type in any background you want. Let's say put it on a, like a coffee machine, on wooden table, right? So for free from, you have more freedom here to describe the background, but also this one will need a little of prompt engineering, so it may not suitable for everyone. Another way to do it is you have a reference image, which is also a very nice one, is you can just upload any image uh, as the reference background for it. This I can upload a reference image to the background, which look like that, right? And then you can see the background actually go into this frame. And now I can move around the coffee machine to make it fit better with the background. So let me move the background pretty large and move the coffee machine. So you probably will need to resize the coffee machine a um, couple of times to place it into optimal position. And then what I will do is you can also adjust the image reference and then just hit create. This background really looks like the same style of the original input. And what is different is the AI actually take care of the lighting and the shadow. So the output result looks better and more realistic compared to the input one. You can still do the upscale or editing to remove some of the co component that you do, want, you do not want in the output result. So this is the background AI. And then what we will introduce is the swap anything. So the next tool that we will introduce is the image variation. So for image variation, actually, um, it's a tool that will allow you simply make a lot of variation of the first uh, So the next tool that we will introduce is the image variation. 
which actually allow you to make a lot of、um, different variation of of your original image input. After you upload your image, you can always adjust the image reference here, and you can just do simply variation or copy contour,、uh, which is similar to the image to image. And you can choose different、uh, resolution here, and also how many images you want to generate it per batch. So here we will choose just 640, and we will choose the copy contour. After that, you can just hit the create, or after that you can just hit the create, and the image variation tool will just do the variation for you pretty quickly. As you can see in the output, basically、um, this one is pretty, looks pretty much the similar as the old image, but it actually add a lot of difference things in the flower and the bottle itself. So it's a perfect match when you want to use the image for the social media, but you don't want to use exactly the original one. And also, copy control give you more control over how how do you want to generate the、uh, the output image. And so the final product that we will、we'll、go through today is the、uh, magic remover. So the magic remover is an eraser. Actually,、uh, you can see is. If you have any defects or any、uh, objects, then you want to remove it out. Basically, is you just need to、uh, move your mouse around those defects or text, and then basically it will remove out everything for you, and you can just hit download. So、uh, it will direct you to the different scenario.、Uh, it will direct you to another website, right? And you can see it's pretty simple. You just need to move your mouse around, and it, its use case have e-commerce, fashion, or photo cleanup, and so on. So that's it for all the introduction for all the tools、uh, in the image creator side.